guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about some of my favorite nail polish colors for spring. And these are just my favorites. They may not be super on trend, they may not be what everyone else is loving, but these are things that I think are beautiful, that I have been wearing even though I'm naked nails right now. Uh, these are some things that I think that are great for spring and that do kind of fall in trend. The trend right now is these bright, bright, bright neons. Um, there's a couple of those in here, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of my opinions. Um, so the colors that I've chosen are either bright neons or very, very matte colors, like very pastelish colors. Think of like Easter eggs and stuff. Um, so I have eight different colors here and I want to talk a little bit about each one and why I think they're great. Um, these two are actually two of my favorites that I've been wearing together. Um, you've seen them on my nails in a couple of other videos like an OPI Ulta haul. Um, this is actually from the New Holland Collection. This is Thanks A Wind Million and it's this beautiful kind of Easter egg-ish pastel green. And then I love to pair it with Ski Teal We Drop. And even this on its own is kind of like a nice matte color. But both of these together just look beautiful. I did all of my nails, thanks to Wind Million, and then I did um, just this little one, a blue color. So you guys can go in videos and see how that looks. But these are two colors that, whether separate or together, I really think that they're just amazing for spring in general. On the note of some of those more pastel -y natural colors, these are a few more colors that are a bit safer for you guys. Um, if you're someone who likes nude nails or things like that, I say switch it up and do something a little bit brown. This one is Over the Taupe, and again, it's one of these pastel -y colors. Not a lot of shimmer, not too much, um, but just a very nice neutral. And if you are used to doing nude nails or even pink nails or stuff like that, I say break out of the box and try this. Not to mention with an orange or with a purple, these would look amazing. So you can totally switch this up. Two more colors that I think are a little bit on the safer side is kind of like a bright pink and a soft pink. And this kind of falls under the neons category. This is a bright neon pink. This is Lost Without My GPS from Sephora by OPI. And then I also chose a little bit more of a mauve pink. And the reason why is because I know a lot of people like pinks, but I thought instead of just doing plain pink, do a more pastel pink. Do a more mauve pastel pink. So this one is a little bit darker, but this one is not so Bora Boring pink. And if you guys are the kind of people that love to paint your nails this regular pink color, this time switch it up. If you want to go on the safe side, go for something a little bit more of this color. And if you want to go daring and super on trend, pick up a neon pink or a neon pinkish orange. The next the last three colors that I have here are a little bit more daring for those of you who want to step outside the box. The first two are a purple and an orange. This is a super, super bright orange. It's a very, very thick orange too. It's not a very pastel orange. It's neon. It's Osaka to me orange. Think orange sherbet on your nails. Um, this is amazing if you want to go jump out there. And of course, you can pair it with other colors as well if you want to tone it down a little bit with a nice, more natural color. The other color that I have here is a Sephora by OPI called Iris. I was thinner, like an iris flower. This is a beautiful, um, kind of a pastel -y purple. It's a little bit neon, but it's not the brightest neon purple you'll see. It's still a little bit mauve but it's still super, super out there. So this is kind of that delicate balance between the two. I think it's a gorgeous color, and just about any skin tone can pull it off, especially if you have dark skin or olive, kind of tan skin. This would look amazing on you. Um, so any kind of iris color is a really good one this season. And I've saved the best for last. This very last one is for those of you who are super edgy. Maybe you don't like any of these other choices. Maybe the neons are cool, but they're not edgy enough for you. Maybe the pastels are nice, but they're too simple for you. This last color that I have is one called Not Like the Movies. It's from a Katy Perry collection. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a mix of green and iridescent purple. These mixes, shimmery colors, are not super in the season, but that doesn't matter. Just the fact that it's green and it's purple, they're two very bright colors, and the way they come together in the sunlight really makes this an edgy pick that's still good for the season. If you are edgy, if you are daring, if you're the person who paints their nails black a lot of times, I think that this is something you'll love. It still incorporates color for spring, it's still fresh, but it's got all this edge and this depth to it. So those are kind of my different eight picks for spring. Um, I would love to see a video response of what you guys have either been painting your nails with, if you have a nail tutorial, or if you just wanna show me some of the nail polish colors that you've been loving. And these are uh, Sephora and Sephora by OPI. Use whatever nail polish colors you have. There's some great ones called Wet n Wild from the drugstore and 
NYC, New York Color. All of those have great selections of color from the drugstore and they're between one and five dollars each. So if you love any of these colors, go try to find them cheaper if you are a drugstore person or you can find these at Ulta's or Sephora's. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I would love to see yours and I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye.